Hello, welcome to my channel Mechanical Engineering Concept. Today I am going to discuss about basic different types of number system which is used in uh, fluid mechanics with respect to some tricks. These are the five standard basic types of uh, numbers which is used in uh, fluid mechanics. Uh, I am coming here with respect to some kind of uh, tricks which is helpful and easy to remember to this, this different types of numbers <coughs> as you see here there are five different types of number fraud number Weber number Euler number Mac number and an odd number in all of these five numbers we can see here their numerators are similar all of them are inertia forces so first you all of you remember that in all of these five numbers, fraud number, Weber number, Heidler number, Mac number, and Leron number, inertia force is a common one, which is come into the numerator. Now, basic is the denominator part. What comes in a denominator for each of the number? First is a first I am considering as a fraud number. Here, numerator is fixed, inertia force the denominator gravity force how to remember in fraud number the denominator is the gravity force so fraud means simply fraud means uh, you are cheating with someone or you are doing some wrong things so if you arrested then if you seen by someone doing some fraud then you will fall down so gravity force comes here with a simplified way uh, with the gravity force we know that we fall down from any height if we use gravity force so here we can easily remember that fraud number is related with gravity force so the fraud number is related to is it the ratio of inertia force to gravity force second Weber Weber is the ratio of inertia force to surface tension. Inertia force, we know that numerator is fixed. So what comes, what is related with surface tension? Weber, we basically confusing V or W. Weber starts from V or W. So we are confusing or we are in some kind of tension. So we can say that the numerator is related to surface tension. Weber number is ratio of inertia force to surface tension. Second was the Euler number. Euler number is a ratio of inertia force to pressure force. We know that inertia force is fixed. Then what is the relation between inertia force and Euler number? We know that basically Euler is an Euler equation. We know that in that equation we basically coming with respect to pressure energy or pressure force so Euler is a related with pressure so Euler number is a, relate, uh, is a ratio of inertia force to pressure force second one is the Mach number there is one catch here because here the all of number are not in square root but Mach number is coming to square root of inertia force to Lux force. You know that inertia force is fixed in our numerator in all of five numbers, but in a denominator elastic force coming because in a mechanical energy, a mechanical engineering, you know elastic force in a initial elongation of the material. So Mach number is related to elastic force. So we can remember easily that Mach number is a ratio of square root of inertia force to elastic force. Last one is a Reynolds number. Reynolds number is a ratio of vis inertia force to the viscous force. Reynolds, means, uh, Reynolds number is used for basically uh, flow condition, flow, fluid flow. Uh, so we can say that the viscosity of a liquid is related to Reynolds number. So Reynolds number can be written as inertia force with respect to inertia force and viscous force ratio. So this is the basic 
the relation between all of this prime number with respect to inertia force, viscous force, elastic force, pressure force, surface tension, and gravity force. Uh, I have told you the basic tricks, simplified tricks, uh, which is which can be helpful for you to remember all the five numbers. I hope you like this video. If you have any query regarding to this video, then please uh, tell me in below comment description box with this video. And please, uh, uh, please remember that this tricks I am going giving you to as a shortcut to remember all of these five basic numbers which is using in which is which is which we use in uh, fluid mechanics regularly to calculate different types of number or different type of condition to calculate different values. So don't take it as a concept take it as a shortcut so don't forget to subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon addition to subscription button to get further notification related to my channel thank you